So that tornado also set a new precedent when it comes to severe weather capability here in western Massachusetts. That type of tornado was extremely rare and 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Kelly Reardon tonight is in Springfield with how it led to new research. Right. If you've lived here long enough, then you know tornadoes here in western Massachusetts are not all that common. But that tornado outbreak was significant enough that it prompted new research that is helping meteorologists forecast tornadoes still today. This is probably one of the top weather events of my, you know, almost 31 year career in the National Weather Service. That's how one local meteorologist who surveyed the damage from the June 2011 Springfield tornado described the path of destruction. This was complete devastation. Many Western Massachusetts residents thought they'd never see a tornado of such strength. A tornado described as a 50 to 60 year event by the National Weather Service and comparable to tornadoes in the plains and Gulf Coast. That's where moist air at the surface and drier air of very high in the sky combined with the flat terrain are conducive to tornado formation. You see your share of severe thunderstorms. You see a couple trees down here and there. I never would have thought uh, that you had a tornado. Debris from the train yard in West Springfield was thrown over. Um, you know, pieces of wood were jammed into car, car doors. The long track EF3 tornado that infamously tore through downtown Springfield first crossed the Connecticut River and then the Memorial Bridge. It was one of four tornadoes that day, which is so rare for this area that it made the National Weather Service in Boston want to study local tornado events further. The National Weather Service went back to study 20 years worth of radar and environmental data. So the first thing we wanted to do was understand, you know, what are the environments that they form in? What kind of, you know, do we have cold fronts moving in? Do we have hot and humid days? That sort of thing. So um, we looked at a bunch of those different parameters. Um, and then we looked at the radar signatures. What do these look like on radar? Is there anything we're seeing ahead of time before the tornado touches down? That research is helping to forecast tornadoes locally today. That study helped them recently. They had a 30 minute lead time on their tornado warning for the Cape Cod tornadoes in 2018. Simply put, the research prompted by the June 2011 tornado outbreak helps to save lives in Massachusetts even 10 years later. Typically, Massachusetts just averages about four to five tornadoes every year, and normally they are weak and short lived, only on the ground for a few minutes. Working for you in Springfield, I'm 22 New Storm Team meteorologist Kelly Reardon.